In this video, I am going over the new competitive research toolkit 2.0 from SEM Rush. You can go directly to this tool from the drop down menu on the top left or from the link in the video description. The first thing you should do when using this tool is to drop your domain in the search menu bar and do an organic research search. From there you will be able to see all the keywords that are ranking on the first 100 pages of Google, you will be able to sort those keywords by search volumes. Or position of that keyword for your site on the search engine results page and also by all the options on the menu bar. You can use the little arrow signs to see exactly what page is ranking that keyword. My website is quite new so there is not a lot to look. Let's take the website of Neil Patel for example, and we are going to take advantage of the position tab to look at all the new lost and decreased keywords. This will help us to find some profitable keywords that actually can rank on Google that one of our competitors lost and we could do a better job. You can sort by high search volumes and look at the keyword difficulty if you spot something below 60, for instance, it might be not that hard to rank. As we can see here for instance, what is Shopify is a keyword where we could write a deep and thorough article and outrank Neil on that. Now we are going to use the competitors tab to find our best competitors. If you don't know them already, this is super powerful to spot new people trying to put their sticks in your wheels. The first websites are the ones that have the most of the keywords in common with you. You can then use these domains to do some benchmarking with a traffic analytics tool. The traffic analytics tool is available only with a business plan or on a custom plan and you will need to contact SEM Rush to have access to it. This is super powerful since you will be able to copy all the strategies of your competitors without wasting any money in useless tries. You can spy on traffic sources, geo distributions, destination site, subdomains. You can see exactly where they spend the money and how your competitors are making money. Then you can use the keyword gap tool to find what keyword is ranking for your competitor's domain that you don't rank. You can use again the competitors found on the competitors tab to launch this search. As always you will be able to sort by search volumes, keyword difficulty and even common keyword or keywords in the whole. As we can see these big websites have plenty of high search volumes keywords in common. The numbers that you see there on the screen are the positions on search results pages. This will help you find keywords you can rank. Then you can use the Backlinks Analytics tab. This feature is super powerful and you will need to create your own technique in order to acquire good backlinks. What I usually do is to click on the Follow button to sort the do follow links from the no follow links. You can also check the New box to look at the newly acquired backlinks on a domain. You can click the little arrow to see exactly where the link is coming from. You can inspect the source code to see exactly where the link is located. From the Overview tab, you can drop your competitor's sites and then using the backlink app tool to see exactly where you are lacking backlinks on a specific domain. You can sort the domain by authority score which is basically what is called DA, domain authority on MOS. These websites are the most powerful and if you click on the numbers on your competitors you will be able to see exactly where the backlinks are created on that domain and in how many they have. You should always try to focus on the do follow links rather than the no follow links, these usually will come along during the growth of your site. Separately, under the SEO toolkit, you can find the Link Building tab. You can use this to benchmark the domain you find with the Backlink app and create prospects to outreach automatically from SEM Rush. You don't even need to open your Gmail. You will need to become expert with this process and start smelling the good opportunities to grow your Backlink portfolio. Of course, this is extremely powerful, you don't need to search on Google to people related to your business and also you will not waste time creating links that you don't need. Spying on your competitor's backlinks portfolio and then outreach them with the SEM Rush Outreach feature is super simple and needs to become a routine to follow. The Advertising Research Tool is another powerful tool included in any plan. With this tool, you can spy on your competitor's Google Ads strategies and look at exactly what keywords are bidding on, how much they are paying for them. You can even see the exactly Google ads that are making and look at all the competitors' ads and ad copies from the start of the business. You can toggle any ad and see exactly for what keyword these ads were shown on the first page of Google, and if you want to you can look at the pages that get advertised the most, the subdomains, and spy on the creatives and ads shown on Google. The Display Advertising tab instead is mainly focused on showing you all the creatives and the websites where these ads were shown. For instance, you can click on Publishers and go look where Google showed the ads. If you decide to advertise on Google, Google will show your business only to the people that match the criteria you have set on your Google Ads account. 
You almost never know where the ad will be shown unless you specify it. With the display advert, you can see exactly what any website is doing with ads. If we click on the arrow link we can open the website where the ad was shown and as we can see here right now the Fiverr ads are not running but this is probably the spot where the ad ran. This is very interesting and can be used in your favor if you are smart about it. The content and PR section includes some of the most exclusive tools in the market. You can create a brand monitoring profile and monitor all the mentions on your brand and keyword related to your brand. Doing so will allow you to discover new prospect webmasters and cool websites owners. I like to follow on Twitter the good ones and get a notification on Twitter from the ones that interest me the most. Twitter is very cool to get fast and to the point news. The topic research tab is the content marketing holy grail. If you drop keyword sentences and so on and it, it will populate with all the most asked questions on Google and topics you should write about on your articles. This is a bomb feature and if you use it with your brain connected well it can turn your website into the number one website. I think that if you really want to succeed on the internet you need to hire at least 10 persons to daily do all the stuff that can be done on SEMrush. This tool is so powerful that you have no idea yet until you use it. So, make a free account now from the link in the video and start using it for free. There are many articles about it on my blog. With SEMrush you can also monitor and control your social media accounts. Posts and auto post on them and even do some advanced analytics on your Facebook pages, tweets and so much more. You can see the countries that most like your pages and you can boost your social media strategy to the next level. So folks, don't waste energy and time juggling around your sites but start looking at what works from successful people. Create awesome content and click on the link on this video to make a free SEMrush account. You can use it as a freemium with limitation for no money. Share this video please, and make some comments.